Good evening, class. My name is Zachary Jewell, and here's my presentation to Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 16. Years after Moses was given the Ten Commandments in Mount Sinai, many Jewish people adhere to his teachings, so much that his teachings were called the Mosaic Law, and the Pharisees had strict practices to his principles. But when Jesus Christ started sharing his teachings, he knew that these commandments were outdated because they were only things one should not do to avoid evil. Jesus knew that the people needed guidelines on how to live a life of humility, charity, and love. That is why he gave us the eight Beatitudes in the Sermon on the Mount. This scene was narrated in the first book of the New Testament, the Gospel of Matthew, that went like this in verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for nothing except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world, a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, 3 through 16, the NIV version. The first beatitude refers to those who are poor in spirit or the humble souls. Being humble means that you are not a worldly person, but one who is grateful for all the blessings they have received because everything given to you is a gift from God. Jesus claims them to be the poor in spirit because humble people are devoid of pride and their spirit is open for any trials that God may present. The second beatitude is for those who mourn, people who are grateful of their sins. Thus, they mourn their sins by repenting and asking for God's forgiveness. The fact that the first creation of God was made in his likeness and image calls for mourning because it shows that humanity did not preserve this purity through the years. People who mourn for the for this failure are then comforted by God's grace and accepted in his kingdom of heaven. The third beatitude is from a humble spirit. A person who is meek has control over their urges and always puts goodness in front of any adversity. The fourth beatitude could not always be taken literally because it also discusses brotherly love. This does not always pertain to the law, but also to humanity and the injustices that are subjected to morality. People who are called for the value of virtues and t temperance would be satisfied for theirs in the kingdom of God. Again, the fifth beatitude calls for neighborly love because being merciful is helping those who are in distress. If we are merciful to other, our neighbors, then God the Father would also be merciful to our fate. The New Testament also provides ways on how one could exude mercy. These are the corporal works of mercy and the spiritual works, such as feeding the hunger, 
give drink to the thirsty, clothe the naked, shelter the homeless, comfort the imprisoned, visit the sick, and bury the dead. Wow, the spiritual works of mercy are acts that could strengthen the soul of another and one's self, like admonish sinners, instruct the uninformed, counsel the doubtful, comfort the sorrowful, be patient with those in error, forgive offenses, and pray for the living and the dead. Being pure of heart, as the sixth beatitude says, is being free of all temptation, self, self-seeking desires. One can see God if they are pure because there is no desire of a personal gain in their heart, but one selfless love and generosity. The seventh beatitude talks about peacemakers and them being children of God. They are the children of God for they bring peace into the lives of others just like Jesus did during his time on earth. Lastly, those who are persecuted for their righteousness would always be welcome to the kingdom of God because the rise above the others in the name of morality. Many of Jesus' apostles were average people. Some are even called immoral by the masses because He saw the goodness in their hearts and their willingness to serve their one and true God for selfless gain. Well, I hope that you guys got something out of this, and I appreciate you listening to my my sermon, which I wrote it down. I'm not good at speaking sometimes off the top of my head, but I thank you, and God bless. Have a good night.